Chief Marcel Joe, you were friends with my grandfather, and that's how my yes. family knows you. Maybe you have a quick Jeff Sterling tale. I have a lot of Jeff Sterling tales. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I knew Lanny Smith long before I met the grand. I knew of the grandfather, of course, everybody did. But I met uh, Lanny Smith uh, at a function here in town. She mentioned Jeff Sterling. I said, I'd like to meet uh, Mr. Sterling sometime. She said, you should. And she said, how would I do that? She said, go on out and say hello. So one uh, weekend I was here, one night I was here in town, I said, okay, I'll go meet Mr. Cerny. I went in and knocked on the door, and, and the door wasn't locked in, in the barn. And I walked in and said hello really loud a couple of times, and, and I heard a, a voice come from somewhere, like way up there where he is now, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a hole in the floor, and he poked his head down and said, who is it? <laughs> I said, this is old Joe from Conver. Well, come on in, I'll be right there. And that was just, that's how I met him. And from then on, we became really good friends. And I, every time I had a chance while I was in town, I made it a point to go and see him. And we had a lot of late nights talking about all kinds of things, you know. They want to know about what we're doing and how we're doing it. And we, we had also talked about the kind of work that he's been doing in Newfoundland for a long time. If anybody in this world that deserves to be in the seat of honor to your grandfather. He's done so much uh, for the kind of medium we have, you know, in TV. The feeling is mutual, and I'll just say publicly, if there's anything that me or this station or our media can do for you and your culture, we're here to support you. Nice. We only have a couple seconds left on the show. I'm wondering if you have final thoughts for our viewers. Well, um, you know, I, I met, had a coat made for him, a buckskin jacket. I don't know what he done with it, but if you can find it, I'd like to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I will get that for you. <laughs> because I'm sure he left some of the good medicine in that jacket. Right on. Yes. Right on. Well, thank you so much thank for you. being so generous of time and spirit. And despite a really hard time you've had, you continue to give back to the province, and you really are an inspiration. Thank you.